Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and this is for my computer org class um, on assembly programming. I wanted to show you a short demonstration of how to do floating point and integer conversions. It's a little tricky, but not terribly difficult. I have a program here set up called float int to single. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a number that's in storage that you see up there, num1, and I'm going to convert it from an integer to a uh, single floating point number. Okay. Well, since it's in storage, we have to actually put it into a register. So we'll go ahead and we'll load uh, load the word, and we will put it into a register. We'll use a kind of a shortcut. We'll put it in uh, S0, and uh, we'll load the word, and we'll say num1. Okay, we'll put comments here. Load word into storage. Okay. And now what we want to need to do is, uh, now that it's in storage, we need to convert it into a floating point number. And it's a two-step process. The first step process is to take this number, it's in the floating point register, and the MTC, MTC1, it moves the number that is in the uh, integer register and puts it into a floating point register. We'll just pick one, we'll just say F1. Okay. So this uh, puts integer into floating point register. Now it's in the floating point register, but while it's in the floating point register, it's still an integer and we can't use it. So now what we have to do is we have to call a conversion routine that actually converts it from an integer to a floating point register, floating point number, and put it back into a floating point register. And that's done by CVT. Okay, so let's type in CVT, and then the next two letters tell us what type of conversion is done. The first letter tells us where it's the destination. In this case, it's an S. It's a floating point single. And then the source is an integer, and that's indicated by the letter W. Don't ask me why. Okay, so F1, comma, F1. So now it is convert to floating point single. Now to prove to you that uh, uh, this works, okay, I'm going to print it out. So I'm going to load immediate into dollar sign V0, okay, the number 2, which tells it to uh, print a float. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move S, okay, uh, move S dot S, and the um, if we look at our cheat uh, cheat sheet, I'm pulling it over here. We have to move the floating point number into F12 to get it to print. It's in F1 right now. Put in dollar sign F12 and do a syscall. Call. Now while I'm here, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and print out the. Uh, Okay, load immediate uh, dollar sign the the title might as well load address we can do this in our sleep can't we we can message one okay and it's this call so let's save that I'm going to Pico editor and we'll bring this over here we'll see if we've got any syntax errors we're going to save file reinitialize the file and we're going to go to our directory where it's located. Sample programs as float int to single. We'll say open. It doesn't look like there's any errors. Okay, so we'll bring our console back over here and we'll say simulator run. And there it is convert int to single and it converts it back to 10. So very good. Now, uh, you want to go back the other way. All right, let's 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 just go ahead and write the code. We don't actually have to. Um, uh, uh, executed or run it. I can show you how that done. To go back the other way uh, is the reverse of that. So the very first thing we have to do is um, we have to uh, uh, convert the number from a single to an int and that's just a reverse of that. So cvt dot w dot s dollar sign f1 dollar sign f1 and this uh, this converts uh, float to single float to int. Alright. And then M F 
C1. Move from, okay, move from dollar sign S0, uh, dollar sign F1. <coughs> okay, move from, okay, now what this does is it takes uh, int from floating point register and puts it into an integer register. All right. Now notice that the the reverse of this up here to go from a floating point to uh, or go from an integer to a floating point, I move the number and then convert it, and then here I have to convert it and then move it. So it's a kind of a two-step process. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, uh, again, if there's uh, any requests for videos uh, out there you'd like me to, to demonstrate something, be glad to do it. And uh, on to the next video.